Well, here we are. <clears throat> we have finished the day as we wrap up. The first thing, first and foremost, is to thank all of our speakers who spent some of their precious time with us today, shared their insights, and were very generous with all that they had to offer. Also to thank all of you who attended and engaged throughout these sessions with your questions and your interests. We appreciate that. Um, one thing I'm hoping is that, one thing I'm hoping is that the lineup from today, which was fabulous, reinforced the idea that systems thinking, modeling and leadership can apply you know, universally across contexts to help think things through differently, solve diff, you know, everyday and tough problems and all of those kinds of things. What do you think? Yeah, I, I think uh, hopefully what we were able to uh, sh show today and give you examples of is, is just the breadth and the depth. I mean, so, some of the talks went real deep, real fast, and some of the talks uh, showed the, the range and the breadth of, of different things. And that's what we're trying to show you um, and, and hopefully give you some ideas uh, and, and Hopefully you can take those ideas and apply them to your realm if you're in a different realm, kind of like some of the questions indicated. But um, from this morning, you know, looking back on, on systems thinking in general and DSRP and then um, hitting on, uh, on uh, uh, the Santa Fe Institute and David Krakauer's work and, and kind of going in depth there and the mathematics of innovation. And then we moved over to organizational learning with Bjarna, um, and then saw it in Silicon Valley uh, with Teen and, and Daisy in law, and then in innovation, and then in the army and, at, and, at, and in business school uh, uh, with Heiss and Kurt Carlson. Tomorrow, we're going to um, hear yeah, from, cool. tomorrow is going to be very cool. Don't forget, Tomorrow is a hell of a day. We've got planned for you. We're going to start with the one and only George Casey, four-star general. He's going to talk about VUCA, what it means to be in a VUCA world, his perceptions of things. He's a great storyteller, a great speaker. Then we're going to... Laura's actually going to give a talk on yeah. the agent-based approach, which is something we've been working on at Cornell for about two years, three years now. Um, and so uh, as, a, as a way to... Uh, attack policy programs and social policy, all kinds of things. And then we're going to have a bunch of different panels where you get to see it applied to very specific uh, areas. Um, and and then well, and so we'll have that throughout the day. We'll have a bunch of different We should remind panels. them that there's going to be a panel on education, a panel yep. on sustainability, systems reform, which we'll talk about uh, climate change and prison systems. We've got international systems case studies, and we've got some really great work in social policy around, you know, bettering the situation of disadvantaged kids in the United States. So it's going to be a really wonderful uh, variety of things that you're going to hear about. And you'll see how this way we think about agent-based approach really plays out in real world settings. And you'll see some of our great Student work, you know, also students. see some experts in education and sustainability, and you know it's going to be and it, a lot of it's just the practice of it and showing examples of how how to do it in practice and things like that. Yep. So we really appreciate uh, you all attending today, and uh, appreciate all of our speakers and and our panelists and our moderators and Absolutely. all the people behind the scenes that are helping out and making this possible. And we will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we'll open it up and, uh, and hand it over to General George Casey. Yep, thank you all for everything today. We'll see you tomorrow.